What's up guys? Uh, it's Mikey B. Um, again, bringing you some more Dark Souls over the Christmas. Uh, it's day six, um, part two. Um, previous episode, we defeated Pikachu and Snorlax. Uh, we have basically completed all of Anor Londo, but there's still some secrets we need to discover. Uh, we're not going to do that yet though. So that's just going to wreck the game if we do it right now. Uh, we managed to acquire the Lord Vessel, a.k.a. Fast Travel, a.k.a. Key. Um, so yeah, we are now in the final act um, of the game. Um, vanilla game, at least, anyway. Um, yeah, I'll spend a little bit of my time uh, grinding since the last that we saw um, you can tell um, I've since died I have a lot more souls and I'm wielding a different weapon uh, this time around what we're going to be doing we're going to be using the lightning greatsword and we're going to be using this uh, plan moving forward uh, we are going to be using fast travel. Woohoo! Um, we are going to tackle the catacombs um, in this episode. Um, yeah, there's stuff that we need to do there. Um, we, yeah, we're going to gain a lot more from the catacombs than anywhere else. Okay, so we're going to do that first. Uh, let's zoom to Firelink Shrine. Right, here we are, look who it is. It's our bro. Fried onion bro. Fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes. yes. I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This light of Catalina. Thanks to you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Emit Force. I like Emit Force. It's not the best. Um, obviously, if you've got the lightning spells, it's a bit redundant. But I love how it looks. Um, it's very, very cool looking. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, bro? There you are. I'll be heading down, but there's nothing worse. No worries. No. <laughs> this guy has literally wandered into heaven and just went, nah. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. It's his life. Whatever. Right. We were a spirit of vengeance. Uh, we are now going to return this Firekeeper soul. And because she's now back with us. Thank you. I am Anastasia of Astora. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. But I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Does not offend at all. I don't uh, have any souls. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. Dokey. Right, well, never let it be said I don't accept no for an answer. Right, so she is now alive. We have our onion bro up here uh, giving us emit force. Uh, 
Crestfallen is missing. As is uh, Laurentius, Firebro. He's gone. Um, he's still knocking around, of course. Let's see if he's got anything to say about the matter. Oh, I'm sometimes I lose. May as well get it. Here we go. Right, got those, got those. We're not entering the covenant with you anymore. Uh, we are the princess guard, so yeah. Uh, actual god. Okay. These guys are still knocking around. Excellent. I have a lot of souls on me. And these are the only merchant. Or are they? Yes, I mentioned before that the armor um, of, uh, of Ornstein has been unlocked um, at Firelink Shrine. But where on earth is the merchant? Ooh. Well, allow me to show you. You've probably caught little glimpses of him. Little glimpses of him. There we go. Try again, my friend. Um, if you're observant. Uh, but, yeah, you have to really know where to look in order to find this guy. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm loving this Thunder Sword. This is good. This is a good thing. He's actually over here, of all places. Let's take our time. Goodness sake. Yeah. All right, Ring of Sacrifice and this guy. Aye, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> You're a trader? Why are you here if you don't want to meet anybody? Okay, whatever. Gold pine resin, master key, those useless weapons I mentioned before, um, standard arrows and wooden arrows and whatnot. Um, his armor. The Iron Golem that we fought to get into Anna Londo in the first place. And the most baller looking armor in the game. There we go. Now it's amazing, his armor <laughs> um, is way more expensive. But we're going to get it so then we don't have to worry about it. Go. Hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually, so I am willing to share some tips. If you see kindling in the catacombs, use divine weapons. That will repel the reassembling skeletons. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm certain. I just so happen to have divine weapons. So I am willing to. Sh the cursed ghosts of New Londo are formidable foes. To face them, you will require special arms or a cursed body. The quickest way to be cursed? Try the bug-eyed lizards in the sewer. Desperate mm -hmm. measures, to be sure. Yeah, very desperate. You are a fine trading partner. Rumour it may be. But I have heard of a surviving ancient dragon who resides in this land. A coterie of undead serves the dragon, as they train to become dragons themselves. Sounds unlikely. But you never know, do you? I do know, actually. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Right, I guess I'll leave then. Fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. Well, we'll see, son. We'll see. Right. Let's check it out. Look at that. Oh, that's a beast. It's so good. Right. 
Right. So then, we still have an awful lot of souls. Uh, let's just make sure that, we, uh, that we've got everything whilst we're here. And he tells me that he has you to thank. Oops. Well, we are both in your debt now. Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. I, I want to buy some stuff, though. Oh, hello. That will certainly do you more good. Yeah, okay. Have one of those, excellent. And I have all of your stuff, excellent. You're going missing, son. Have you spoken to Master Logan? He is an accomplished scholar. The arts of sorcery would never have come this far without his contributions. And he has the nerve to go risking life and limb. What a stubborn old fellow. <laughs> <laughs> have you spoken to Master? He is an accomplished. I have a feeling you're having me on, son, but. Uh... All right. That should help you. May we meet again? Yeah, I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. That heart man, honestly. Hello there. I was expecting you. As really now. I will share my sorceries. Mm. Mm. I'm afraid that you are unable to learn sorcery. The basic framework, you see, it cannot be taught. Oh, do not fret. Life isn't all about sorcery. You will find your own way. Don't frown with regret. Peer forward with your head high. Oh, I thought that I had sufficient intelligence. I have 14 intelligence, as a matter of fact. Hello. Glad to see you alive, and, and that's that. Well, at least he wasn't rude about it, I suppose. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just a little bit gobsmacked. Just a little bit gobsmacked. Anyway, uh, whilst we do have um, this ball ass baller sword, we probably should invest in a Uh, divine weapon. We probably should. Where's well, the best ways to get divine weapons? The church. Yeah, it's uh, a bit powerful, this sword. Get your shield up, son. I want to see how much damage I can do. Honestly, you know what? You deserve it. There you go. Goodbye. Flipping heck. What's the point in having a shield if you're not going to use it, son? Sword. Sword that's already That's good enough. It's only for it's only for basic skeletons, that's good enough. Now, I did notice there though, my shield is only a plus five. Let's get that sorted out right now. you actually need then in order to speak to Logan. I don't know. I'll whack it up to 15 just in case it's just one level. Uh, but uh, 
Don't know. I could have sworn 14 was all that he needed. Yeah, this sword's pretty powerful anyway. Well, we survived. We survived without fall control. Okay, well this is a little bit uh, scattered, this beginning. I am sorry, guys. Usually a little bit more... ...focused. Um, but yeah, um, I am sorry. Hello there. Oh. It seems you've come excellent. You're certainly ready. I shall teach you sorcery. So I needed 15, not 14. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Now, this guy, um, all he does is teach you sorcery. Uh, that's it. There's nothing to buy off of him, per se, other than basically more ammo. Um, yeah, he's got Soul Spear and Homing Soul Mass as well, which is brilliant. Um, that in total is 60,000 souls, and I think I have enough souls in my bag. He's also talking some nonsense about how I've got, you know, massive potential magically. So it's nonsense, so it's nonsense. 3,000? Uh, 30,000, sorry. There we go. You really are very diligent. I quite understand. Study is invigorating. So invigorating. There we go. And I've still got souls left. Excellent. Out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. Rito, I'll do me best, son. I'll do me best. So he's going down um, shortly. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Um... Our sorcerer buddy is going to go Missy. And Logan is going to go insane. Um, they're not going to all do that all at once though, so don't worry. Uh, but something needs to be a catalyst in order to make that happen. And I do believe that this is what it's going to be. Oi! No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Come on, son, wake up. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved a Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Great. <laughs> I really should calm down. You really, you really should if that's you excited. On a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. Here we go. The 
third act breakup. <laughs> I am not your friend anymore. What? of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. Honestly, from software, honestly, what are you doing? There we go. Now, it's very interesting. Um, when we approached him with the Lord Vessel, he was like, oh, it really is you. <laughs> it's been a thousand years. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls commensurate to the great soul of wind. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. No, that's not really necessary. I've been able to... I've been able to fast travel since I got the Lord Vessel. Okay. Thanks. That was completely unnecessary, but thank you. Right. How's everybody, uh, how's everybody doing? Have they all left yet? No, it's still there. Oh. Right, let's do this. Oh, it feels like it's been ages since I've been back here. Absolutely ages. Come on, guys. It's time to die. Well, this is not looking good. Ooh. Right. Okay. All we need to do now is just follow this path. Are they coming? Are they staying? All right. They're staying. Good. Oh, these guys aren't now. Lovely. Bye bye. We are going to get into the catacombs. We are going to get so much stuff out of the catacombs. It is, um, yeah, uh, it's a treasure trove, basically. Um, so much stuff in here. And now that we've actually uh, uh, opened the final door as well. Bye bye.
yeah, um, now that we've opened the final door as well, uh, we are going to get um, some merchants. Goodbye, son. These guys. Why would you? Uh, hmm. I mean, I don't know because I've never actually been a skeleton. Um. But why would you just be all scattered across the ground if you were like, like you know, animate like that? I don't understand. Now this sword is beast. Um, basically because. Oh. You crumb bum. Yeah, get lost. Uh, yeah, basically because it's a, a regular sword, but it requires faith to use. Um, and not only that as well, it's already divine, um, as I mentioned before. Let's take a look at its stats. Uh, yeah. Um, a very, very powerful sword. Very, very powerful. Um, physical and magic are both equal. Uh, they have equal um, scaling as well. And you only need 14 faith in order to actually wield this thing. And now it's a plus three sword instead of a plus five sword because it requires uh, twinkling titanite in order to upgrade. Um, but yeah, for, for our purposes, this is going to suit us um, right down to the ground. Because uh, once we kill the necromancers, these boys can't uh, resurrect again. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Might as well make this uh, bonfire. Um, special. This is the one that we're going to be returning to um, if things all go wrong. Backstab there, man. It lit it would literally have to be it's back. Bye, son. Now, you can actually come into the catacombs um, without a divine weapon. Um, as long as you manage to actually catch the necromancers and kick the red in, basically, um, these skeletons won't be a problem. However, if you miss them, then they will just keep returning and returning and returning, never dying. Um, and you'll end up with a huge horde of skeletons towards the end of the actual uh, level, if you want to call it a level. Uh, but yeah, you can come here any time. Look at that bleed resistance. Goodbye. Yeah, this area um, is very much... Um, is very very much a late game area um, but if you can do it I think you should do it um, early on because uh, you do get so much good stuff you get the goodbye Sam uh, you get the large divine ember you get the oh skull lantern that'll be useful um, you get uh, white titanite chunks. You get the uh, great scythe. Uh, you get all sorts of goodies um, early on. And when you return. Me, excuse me. Bye bye. Now, when you return, um, there's also. Well. You have a bit of a rescue mission um, in order to return. Uh, you have to save uh, Rhea um, from uh, Petrus's ne <laughs> neglect, basically. Um, murder via neglect, which is what we're going to, uh, which is what we're going to see um, later on. 
Uh, but once she's once she's sorted, if you manage to save her, uh, she becomes a very powerful uh, vendor. Very very powerful. She has basically all the high level faith magics. Um, so she's not to be not to be taken lightly herself. However, um, you then need to return a third time in order to defeat uh, Grave Lord Neo. Uh, Neo? Nito. Um, so it's probably better, efficiency wise, uh, to wait until you have the Lord Vessel. Uh, because then you can get all of that stuff, you can save the lady, um, and you can defeat Nito, and get all the merchants. Um, all in one fell swoop. Is there anything going on down here? Or is there? Better double check. And with the Lord Vessel as well, uh, we will gain access to the Fire Blacksmith. Um, so we can finally start having some fire weapons. Uh, which is uh, never a bad thing. Uh, we are looking at getting a fire weapon a little bit late though. And um, that's one of the draws um, of coming here early. Um, is if you get yourself a fire weapon early on, um, everything that's weak to fire is... Well, that, that their gimmick is, is gone, basically. Um, so you can just... Uh, Defeat them very quickly, very easily. Things like the uh, the blobs and the muck in the sewers, for example. Um, the guys in the painted world. I can't believe this guy. Right. He thinks he's so funny. I don't know if I think it's funny in a minute. Bye! I don't believe it. Two skull lanterns. Whatever. Whatever. Right. Okay, we're not going to go down there yet. That's where we find the fire blacksmith. We've got some more stuff that we need to do up here first before we end up here. Yeah, fire weapons. Ironically, they're cool. So that's basically all I've got to say on the matter. Um, they're definitely useful. Um, certainly, they're as useful as the lightning weapons, absolutely. Let's get that bridge turned. Sometimes we meet a character up here, um, Patches. Um, I have no idea what the trigger is for him to actually show up on when not to show up. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, son. Talking to the audience here. Um, now, I have no idea what the trigger actually is for him to show up there. Um, but he is guaranteed to show up somewhere else later on. So if he doesn't, if he doesn't show up there, uh, we're still going to meet him. Bam! Sneaky little shortcut there. Right, so the necromancer's still knocking around for these guys. They're about to come back to life. Yeah, so to speak. Well, let's find him. 
Or better yet, use your divine weapon and kill them. Bam! Down you go. Harry stances do my head in. But I'm not going to hit you whilst you're doing that. <sighs> but whatever. That's part of this game is frustration. And part of the difficulty of this game is, is the frustration. If you let that get to you, that's it. Um, once you become frustrated, that is it. Kiss goodbye to all your souls. Kiss goodbye to the humanities. Um, you are going to be stuck until we calm down. I do love an explodey skeleton. I do. Okay, so Dark Moon Seance Ring. Um, it's a good job we came back here to pick that up, to be fair. Uh, without that, we can't join the Dark Moon Blades. And without joining the Dark Moon Blades, we don't get that magic spell or the top, uh, top tier talisman that I was talking about before. So it's a good job that we came back and got it. I believe again third skull lantern right back at the start right however now we do not have any necromancers I do believe I'm sure we'll find out pretty quickly if I've left one out. Spooky, spooky skeletons. Some piercing eyes in the darkness there. Bam! Now, there's no necromancer knocking around. How are these bones still up and running? Hmm. See, because if uh, if Nito is the necromancer, then these would still have to keep coming back, surely. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Go, oh, lovely. There's another crystal lizard here, and I always struggle to get it. Uh, but there is a little, little trick. We quit the game here. Come on. Yeah, so if you quit the game and log back in. Bam! Did I get it? Yes! Oof. Um, it will respawn, obviously. Uh, but the enemies around here will not respawn. Uh, I think. I think. So we now have some uh, Twinkly Titanite, 
we ever want to upgrade um, that Astora Sword again, we can do that. Shortcut. Right, let's just reset everything. Let's get our Estus, our heals, and everything else. Yeah, he manages. Hmm. Awesome here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It'll bug me otherwise. Are you kidding? I need one more. What if I only need one? Did we spot him up here? No, he's not there. He's not there for some reason. I don't know why, but he's not there. Anymore. Goodbye. That was coordinated. That was, uh, that was quite a show. Oh. Oh, I'm, I know where he is. I, I remember. I remember. I remember where this guy is. Right. Uh, down here. The last of the necromancers. Oh, how very dare you. Right. So before we continue, guys, we've got a little secret. Yeah, if we uh, if we go back to that uh, to that corridor we were just in a second ago. First of all, we have one of these again. The old love heart demon. Good, good, good. Demon Titanite, love it. Go all the way to the back here. For some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, it's this curled up corpse. It's got three eyes of death. Now, you can't really do too much with that. Um, but if we come over to this coffin, can we wait a little more. Uh, we're in for a uh, we're in for a bit of a surprise. Any moment.
Yeah, Tomb of the Giants. Now this is the very, very end um, of the Tomb of Giants. Uh, there's not really much going on at this moment in time. Um, take a good look around. There's nothing happening at all. Zero. Zilch. That will change. <laughs> um, greatly so. Um, but for the moment, we have the Gravelord Neato right there in front of us. Uh, he wants us to enter into a covenant with him. Okay, now because we've done that, um, automatically we get the Gravelord Sword and the Gravelord Sword Dance, which is a miracle. Uh, he wants Eyes of Death. And we get the Gravelord Greatsword Dance. A very, very powerful miracle. Um, and we have completed, just by doing that, we have completed his covenant. So we get to leave. Again, we just have to wait a couple of minutes. Oh no! I don't think the enemies have respawned. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's crack on with everything. Oh, hello. Bam! Yeah, because you guys we kept getting revived by that uh, by that necromancer, weren't you? Completely forgot about you. Oh well. You know, sort of, sort of. Right. Okay. So, we have two things that we now need to do before we progress. First thing that we need to do, we need to speak to the fire blacksmith. Um, second thing that we then need to do, we need to speak to. Uh, Leroy, uh, Paladin Leroy. And now we've not met Paladin Leroy yet, uh, but we will um, in time. Uh, first of all, let's get the, the blacksmith. These floating heads. Man. Feel like that every day sometimes. Just floating around, just screaming, exploding. But you know, just put a smile on it. It'll be fine. <gasps> oh no, you don't. Lock on nearly ended me then. Oh, he's gone as well. Now, this could all go wrong because this is Dark Souls. Uh, basically, we are supposed to land on a different platform that you cannot see. Boom! Whew. There we go. Green Titanite Shard. Don't mind if I do.
I hope you don't mind me dropping in. Well, he's uh, looking a little angry, really. There, whoa, son! Be gone with you. You spoil my focus. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. Oh. Boom! You heard the man. Get out of here. Okay, now like I mentioned, he does fire stuff. Um, he's not really that bad. He's just... Yeah, trying to focus. Huh? I have an ember, do you? <laughs> He's talking about the enchanted ember that I have, which I still haven't given to the Wilhelm uh, blacksmith. Um, but he does have some purchasable stuff. Uh, he's got uh, this fellow's got homeward bones. He's got regular titanite shards, and he's got some arrows um, in case you need to stock up for some reason. Um, do I have anything that can be modified? I can have a fire battle axe. That'll do. Yeah, morning star, a little bit. I already did that, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. Um, let's upgrade the battle axe. Where is it? Here it is. There we go. Now at least it might be uh, useful for something now. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's see what he's got to say. I'm here to smith, not to chit chat. I've told you, I'm here for the trade, not for the talk. <laughs> Find him up. Your presence, it disturbs me. Oh yeah, well, what are you gonna do? You are a persistent one, are you not? But I'm afraid I'm only a blacksmith. It's just me and my trade. I would be of no help to a righteous warrior such as yourself. A little bit of shade there. I, I have nothing to discuss. If I have anything to offer, it's my smithing and nothing more. I'd be of more help with that ember from New London, of course. It's a shame the whole place was flooded. Ember from New London? I've told you, if I have anything to offer, speaking honestly, I must say that I'm at my very limit. There's no more work to be done. Oh, unless I have the flame of that legendary witch. But that would require a visit to Lost Isolith. Impossible. Mm. Somebody to visit Lost Isolith? I've told you I have nothing to discuss. If I have anything to speaking, honestly, I must... Oh, but that... Right. Then be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus, focus, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now guys, be very careful coming out of here. Maybe we'll get lucky and actually get that shield, perhaps. Hmm. I'm sure there's more than that. I am positive there's more than that. Here we go.
Fucking heck. Dramatic. Sneaky bugger. Bam. Bam. Wow. Any more? Didn't really want to do that, but oh well. I don't think I'm going to need it later. Um. Hmm. Still, it's best to be frugal. Right, so we have basically annihilated everything in the catacombs now. Um, all the necromancers are dead. All the skeletons are dead. Um, the only thing left is to uh, meet up with Leroy. Uh, we are going to do that right now. Uh, but it does mean that we have to climb all the way back up to... Well, not basically the top. Uh, but we do need to drop down onto his summon sign, unfortunately. So it's a little bit more time uh, spent going through some... Uh, uh, some dead areas, if you want to call it that, I suppose. Right. Is this the one? This is the one. Oof. Hmm. <laughs> Nameless soldier. There he is. Paladin Leroy. Okay, bear with me guys, oosh, there we go, lovely, right, so that there is Paladin Leroy, um, he is equipped with an awful lot of good stuff, um, yeah, if you don't get the reference by the way, then you have not been on the internet long enough, um, let me, uh, let me just say that, now there's a Black Knight hanging around here, he may have already aggroed and tried to follow me. Uh, but if not, we're going to aggro him now. And Paladin Leroy is going to show you stuff! Yes, he has already been uh, <laughs> aggroed. Come on, son! What, what are you doing, lad? What are you doing? He's doing some kind of... I don't know, interpretive dance? I don't know what the hell he was doing. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> BAM! That's how you do it, son. That is how you do it. Well done, Leroy! Okay, so it's very, very important that you keep him alive. Uh, very, very important. If you want that equipment, um, you need to keep him alive through this fight. Okay, so just be very, very careful. Okay, everything's looking good so far.
Pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. Uh, yeah, another tragic tale. Bam! Because look how much damage I just did with one hit. Bam! Bam! Oh, you get! And suddenly, I am not dying to pinwheel. I don't care. No way. Oof. <laughs> Almost perfect run against Blee, Ornstein and Smo. Dies at pinwheel. Not happening. Not happening at all. Mask of the Child. Check it out. I can't remember which one that uh, what that does actually. Is that stamina? Stamina growth. Mask of the Child. Let's take a look. Uh, one of three masks of the pinwheel, uh, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask, belonging to the naive child, slightly raises stamina recovery speed. Um, yeah, pretty decent. I'm not going to wear it. Uh, but yeah, pretty decent. All of his masks, uh, whatever he drops is decent, but uh, what you really want is Mask of the Father. Um, yeah, uh, that thing increases equipment weight. Um, max equipment weight, sorry. Um, so that's, uh, that's definitely the one you want. Um, oof, look at it. See, the thing about Pinwheel is there's an awful lot going on with Pinwheel. Um, but he's so easy to beat that, you know, it's embarrassing. Like, I was just embarrassed a second ago just because... Um, well, just because he, he managed to land, land a hit on me and I hadn't finished him in two seconds. Um, but there's, uh, there's an awful lot going on with Pinwheel. Um, I do like the the law of the guy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into it on this video though. Um, we have gone on for over an hour um, to get to this point. Uh, so we're gonna call it a day. Um, next episode, we are looking at completing um, all of the catacombs. Um, all of the uh, uh, Tomb of Giants. Um, and we are going to be obtaining a Lord Soul. So don't, uh, don't miss out on that. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to go. And as always, if you like what you've seen, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yes, leave a comment. Um, if you don't like what you've seen, again, do exactly the same. Um, and tell me what you do want to see in the comment section. Um, so until tomorrow, have a lovely evening.